possible, and this is my prep profile. Lauren, being a three-sport athlete can be difficult. How do you cope with it during the year? Um, I actually do a lot of outside activities, too. Like, I do club volleyball, and I'm a school store manager. So it's a lot of just time management and being able to balance everything, making sure that I get enough sleep, eat right, and keeping my body intact, and so I'm able to play. Are you playing basketball? Yes. And in some communities, it's really tough to do that and club volleyball. Yeah. How do you manage that? Um, club volleyball is usually on the weekends. We have like about one practice a week, so that's pretty nice being able to like do both at the same time. And the schedules work out very nicely, and both my coaches are very cooperative with my volleyball schedule. So they understand if I need to um, maybe rest a little bit more. So if not necessarily not working harder, but if I'm a little more like sore and not performing to my full potential during practice, they are understanding because they know I'm trying to do a multitasking. Do you have a favorite sport? It is volleyball, yeah. And are you planning to go to college to play that? Yes, I'm planning on attending UW Whitewater to play volleyball. And what are you going to study there? Um, I'm hoping to study health and wellness education. Okay. And uh, when you look at the sports, uh, how, do, how do they all complement each other, volleyball, basketball, and softball for you? Um, volleyball and basketball, it's a lot of leg work. Softball is a lot more core where in pretty much in any sport you need your core. That's your main purpose. But they all kind of interact. They're both high-intense games. It's all, it's all how you play in a team setting, and it's very fun getting to know everyone and being able to be a part of the team. You're a middle blocker, right? Yes. You like that action around the net? Yeah. A lot of, lot of endurance, a lot of running back and forth. And then basketball center and softball outfielder for space? Yep. So you get a little bit of everything? Yeah. Uh, so you got your start in soccer and dance. So. I Yeah, I did when I was younger. Soccer was kind of what every little elementary school did. Unfortunately, fourth grade, I had to give it up. wasn't really my thing. But dance has always been a big love of mine, so... I like doing that. Do you have a, a most inspirational teammate, somebody that's inspired you in any of the sports? Um, well, it's really nice that I get to play basketball and softball with my best friend Caitlin. We've been playing together since we were we've been playing basketball together since we were in fourth grade. Been playing softball against each other, started out in park and rec league in third grade and I think the following year or two years after we started playing traveling team together and so that was really a nice thing to be able to experience and later growing our friendship and now we're our she's my pulse buddy and we just we click very well when we're playing together. That's Kayla Holman? Yes. Yeah. Where's she going to school next year? Um she plans on attending the University of Evansville in Indiana. So I can have a long distance friendship next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is, is she gonna play too? Sport? Um no she's not. She's um, looking to study physical therapy and athletic training. So the program there is pretty intense so she wouldn't have time to play softball unfortunately. And uh, you looking forward to that next level of competition? Yes I am. It's always been kind of a goal I've set for myself and now actually in the reality of being almost there it's very, it makes you feel achieved and very happy with what you've done over the years. It's tough to get through the end of the senior year. Are you happy that you're in the sports to kind of keep you focused, keep you busy? Yeah, I feel like if I didn't have sports, I'd be very, I'd like be very off and doing whatever else, like trying to, I maybe wouldn't have as much motivation, but knowing that I need to stay focused for not only school, but for athletics as well, it's a big motivation for me. Now you mentioned you have some other activities. Uh, what do you do from a volunteer standpoint? Do you have any particular programs you're involved in? Or? Um, volunteering, the, our basketball team always does the senior Christmas dinner over at Jansen's. We did that um, either last week or two weeks ago where we, um, we help serve the Christmas meal because the senior citizens aren't really able to get up and move around. So we deliver the... Um, plates to them and then afterwards we get all the leftovers so that's pretty nice we get to skip a little bit of school and go have a big meal so. and have you uh, done any youth coaching with any of the sports um yeah we um, Saturday mornings I ref the park and rec league for third fourth and fifth graders um, I also do the small fry basketball and five star basketball in Saturday mornings which just recently um, 
was ending the, either two weeks ago or last week. So that's always nice, being able to help the younger kids and show them what it is like to play and what the fundamentals that we all had to go through as well. Any other school activities you're involved in? You said uh, um, from a time management standpoint. Yeah, um, I'm in FBLA. I'm the FBLA manager. I was also in Link Crew, which is when the freshmen come in on the first day. We help them, and we also help them. We'll be doing the um, a study session during exams to help them prepare for their first exams of high school, and um, I'm also a F club officer in our. F Club. That's for the letter winners? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, favorite TV show, Big Bang Theory? Yes, I love the Big so Bang Theory. So, not just network, but you're watching the reruns now, too? Yes, I watch, I'm pretty sure I've watched every single show. It's kind of a family show. We all sit down together and are able to watch it. Favorite food, peanut butter sandwich. Pretty basic. Yeah, okay. I have that every single day for lunch. It never changes. Is that your pregame meal too? You bring no, I usually have Subway before games, okay. but I need to have at least something peanut butter every day. Favorite team, Green Bay Packers. Favorite athlete, Jordy Nelson. Yeah. Yeah. I actually got in an argument with my teachers the other day. He's a Vikings fan, so he was giving me a hard time, and I just said, Jordy Nelson, flat out, don't even need to argue there. So. <laughs> okay. So, favorite facility you competed in a national championship in Tucson? Yes. So, for volleyball? Yeah, I was in. Um, I was in the High Performance Badger Region um, Nationals team, and I was on a team with girls from all over the state. We had a camp up in Green Bay, and the camp was actually a tryout to make it onto the team. So I made it onto there, and then traveling down there with the girls' teams and then also with the guys' teams, it was a great experience to develop those friendships. And I actually met one of my closest friends who... I don't know what I'd do without her. I don't see her that often, but she's always someone there when I need someone to talk to. Okay. And said so favorite place to visit though, Disney World. How many times yeah. have you been there? I've been there six times in the past six years probably. I played down there for a for our nationals volleyball tournament for our club team one year. And then I've also gone down there times with my family. We actually had a decision this summer to go where we wanted to go and my dad actually chose Disneyland over every, anyone else so that was pretty fun to go down there again before I go to college with the family. And so you want to visit Washington DC, any particular place, landmark, whatever you like to? Um, my One of my family members is greatly involved in the military so being able to visit there and like kind of see all the memorials and stuff would be greatly, It's I feel like it would be inspiring and give me kind of a better outlook on how much is sacrificed for the country. Your most memorable moment in sports, pretty exciting, against Monona Grove? Yeah, so it was Valentine's Day of last year's basketball season and Monona Grove was the team to beat in our conference. They were 16 and all, ranked third in state. So they had a pretty high level of expectation that we went out there with the attitude, we're just gonna do the best we can. And it, we knew we were gonna be close, so we knew that if we gave it our all and still came close, we'd be satisfied. But at the at last ten seconds, we were down by um, we were down by three, or no, we were down by two. And um, Marie Fitzgerald banked in a three with two point five seconds left, and our bench stormed the court, which unfortunately resulted in a technical. They made one of their free throws, so now we were only up by one, and then they got the ball back. So we just did super high. Um, pressure with a press and ended up winning the game, causing their first loss and one of the best memories I'll probably remember for the rest of my yeah, life. Yeah, that's the, you're so, so excited, to, oops, yeah. <laughs> so lesson learned for this year? Is when we do something good, you still need to stay on the bench till the game is done. <laughs> okay, well you've had a great high school career so far, good luck this winter and with spring. Thank you.